Okay, the before we add clouds, I want to add clouds, but to a specific area right here. So it's kind of twirly. We also can add clouds up front to create fog. However, it will take a little bit longer time to render. And we can do this in Photoshop. So it will be optional tutorial section actually to the tutorial where we can touch up a little bit more in Photoshop. So for adding clouds on the back, we want to go and use actually meta clouds. So if you extend it, you don't have it right here, you'll notice you have it your meta clouds. And we'll just click and add meta cloud inside. Okay, you can create one meta cloud. Let's just delete it. Or you also can enable and select more. Okay, so right here is our meta cloud. And you'll notice as we're creating, we have an option to change slightly shapes of this cloud. And what I'm going to do is just place it one here, hold down Alt key, we'll duplicate it a few times, and just add a little bit to this area. So in Meta Clouds, you will notice right in this area, we'll start having kind of like more white things, like almost clouds on the bottom. So again, we can increase a little bit in the size them. Okay, and bring a little bit down right there, closer to the forest. This way, it's help us to add some randomness to this atmosphere. So right here, and let's create this one. And we'll just bring this slightly up. So overall, just add extra density right on the end. So let's go now to atmosphere editor. And in the clouds, notice we don't have anything. I don't want to add too heavy clouds, but I want to add some very nice light clouds. And again, we'll look on this when we render, we'll see if we want to modify some of those clouds on the back. Okay, so to add clouds, we'll go to select and we're adding um, rain clouds. If you don't like necessary, you can delete this and you can just click open button and select the different clouds. Spectral clouds is fine. And um, the one I like it used its camelus right here, big camelus or thick. So we'll just go with the big camelus right now. Well, you'll notice right on the screen, they're placing them right around all atmosphere. And they're quite a bit heavy. I'm not necessarily happy about those clouds. They take too much attention. So what I like to do, it's take density and put a density all the way to 1%. Okay, we'll increase just slightly detail amount. Put all the way 100% on altitude variation, which is increased top one preview. And you'll notice that now we have it somewhat look almost like whispering clouds, just very faint right on the end. This is what I'm going just very slightly, not too much overwhelm clouds, but then nicely done. If you think they're too rough, you always can take amount detail amount and to just take them slightly down and you'll see how we'll have it a little bit smoother, remove some of those um, jaggery edges a little bit out. So again, it's up to what you like to do. Altitude one kilometer, but right. Covering, we can reduce a little bit if it's too much cover, but I think it's actually a very nice couple strips create a very beautiful look. Okay, so they leave it right there. Our opacity um, is one effect as much on opacity. You can set 100% opacity. We'll have a little bit more depth. Some, or we can go a little bit flatter create them and reduce opacity but i think this is about right feathering i think this is um let's pop up our shadow density slightly so i think it's look nice effect on this okay so right now at this point with atmospheres i want to pre-render and see how they look in um uh, when we render in kind of test mode so let's go ahead and render before this, I still think this may be two those clouds that may be too harsh. So I select all of them by using shift key, open the editor material editor for them. And right there you will see color and density. So we have a density cloud settings. So we have a dense 12 cover and opacity. So we can take this density and just take even lower. It was 12. We can take slightly to the nine, so it's will just a little bit 
less on this case and maybe just take ambient light slightly down as well. Okay, let's go click OK. And I'm going to render in a final preview. So we can preview with a little bit more atmospheric effect applied. Yeah, so our render is completed and you can see it took almost three hours for us to render in 1020 by 1080 resolution. And if you have a high resolution, it will take a little bit longer time. So usually if you do this at home, you can do overnight or use Render Studio or Render Cows if you do this at a studio. Okay, so let's go save it our image. Okay, and next what I want to do is actually a little bit retouch this inside Photoshop. So if you don't want to do, this is your final image. And the next portion of tutorial is will be optional for those who are interested in some retouching or post-processing inside the Photoshop.